Hello and welcome back. And that's right, today I want to talk about one of the most interesting little boxes I've ever had here on the table. This is the Mr. Root M1 and this has an i3 8 core processor inside. It has 16 gig of DDR5 memory. It's got four 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports there. It has got a 1TB SSD inside there. This thing is bananas. In all of my years talking about network attached storage, I've always talked about the most low impact devices that you can have dotted around, that make less noise than other devices out there, that consume less power than other devices out there. And I'll say right now, this is as close to perfection as I have seen for a very long time. Is it perfect? No, it's only got one SSD bay inside there and it ain't no 2230. You can't even upgrade the memory on this thing. But with incredible cooling there on the base, it running in the background of several other videos I've recorded recently, and as mentioned, a whole host of network connectivity, this thing represents a real change in the miniaturization of network attached storage devices and DIY routers. Now the construction is also pretty impressive. We got ourselves a metal top panel there that again feeds into a heat sink and a big old thermal pad which goes directly on that SSD there. Now the base of the system has a copper fan assisted panel once you take the device apart and it's actually a three layer device held together with ribbon cables that is transferring the data in between. Now. I'm trying to figure out what I would like to use this for. My original plans were to utilize this as a NAS. The more astute of you may have noticed this video is not called a review, mainly because although I've tested deploying four different VMs on this simultaneously in Unraid, and I'm thinking about utilizing this as either a little Proxmox server or utilizing it for a router gateway, I've still not got quite to the point that I'm going to do it. Equally, when I was utilizing almost all of the resources in board to run the four VMs inside there, the system temperature wasn't too bad. It got at its hottest because that top panel there, having no active cooling at the top, it got to about 66 to maybe 68 degrees, which is pretty high, it has to be said, when we were hammering this in terms of those VM deploys, but the base never really left around 40 degrees there, and that's where the CPU lives. That's just where our SSD at the top runs. And that SSD, by the way, was a Gen 3 times 2 lane. And again, for a small compact drive, that's quite a lot of performance, which is almost certainly why that temperature at the top was getting as high as it was. Now we've bench tested this CPU profile, the N305, numerous times. We've seen it deployed uh, on MITx motherboards. We've even seen brands like TerraMaster roll out their own network attached storage devices with this eight core i3 processor. But this still makes this, at least in terms of size, the smallest, most capable router ready box I've ever seen. Now this video is part one of two. The reason being that I was originally going to use this video just as a means to show this for something like Proxmox. But I think it'd be more interesting if you guys tell me right now how you want to see a little box like this deployed. That's why this video has not been labeled as a review because this is such a niche little product that I would rather know from you how you would like to see this running. So again, I might even disable ads on this video just because I think right now with its SD card slot on one side, its plethora of USB ports, an absolute myriad of network connectivity, I think that we could do more with this than simply running it as a router. But let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I know this hasn't been our usual review there. It's just, I got halfway through reviewing this the way I do a lot of other DIY projects. And I was like, no, I don't think anyone's gonna deploy this as a NAS. So I want you guys to tell me how you want me to put this through its paces. So for now, everything's TBC. I look forward to seeing you in part two go into the comments below and let me know how we're gonna set about evaluating this little guy. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.